Not left Jeff, that's my name. What is up, guys? And today we are playing Dream League Soccer 2019. So I did get the new update. I'm sure a lot of people now have the update. Um, I'm not sure exactly who gets it now, but um, I'll bring over my i device here, my Apple device here. Um, right now, this is on my Android. I got it. I got the new update, and I'm looking at my available updates right now. Uh, Dream League Soccer does not seem to have available update for iOS yet. So all you iOS users, I'm sorry, you'll probably see it in a couple of days. I don't know. Or maybe I don't, when, by the time you see this video. I don't know. But I got it, so we are going to be showing off the new update. So this is the new loading screen for career mode. Obviously, uh, you got the, the next fixture, team management, my club, my um, and transfers. So you no longer have that bottom bar there, so it makes it bigger. Um, also, this is the main loading screen, or the main, like, entry c uh, screen. They have the loading screen of the FTG, and then obviously you have multiplayer here. Division 6, gets me every time. And then now you have events. So, um, I have not opened events yet. And by the way, if you were wondering, you can unlock events by completing 10 regular computer matches. So, like, you know, you have to do 5 for online, you just have to do 10 for for events so which means road to glory series uh, on events sounds good i'll do a poll and discussion poll and everything uh later to see if you guys want me to do only events on road to glory or online and events or just online with road to glory because i feel like this will be cool to do like a, for a road to glory series since it's a new feature in uh, dreaming soccer 2019 so as you guys can see i'm not i haven't know i don't know how many games you play i'll check out i'll check this out later but you if we're getting first you get 300 coins which is actually pretty good that's 10 video ads that's half of what you can actually watch in one day so that is actually pretty good that's not bad all right so into the uh you know the patch notes or with the what's new in the play store and then i'll go into my own sort of analysis and stuff so new events mode take part and win for glory obviously we know about that i'll be going into that later uh, new team data, all your favorite players are here for you to sign and develop. So, you know, you got the updated team data. I'm not sure if Rooney is still in the game because he got transferred to MLS. I bought him before the update just because, you know, I'm, 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 a, I'm a card collector. But I think he might be still in the game just because he's part of the England national team. So you sort of get away with that. With Ibrahimovic, he got, uh, he got transferred to the MLS, but Sweden isn't as popular as England as a team. So, I don't know. New soundtrack, obviously, I can't show you that because it's copyrighted. Um, new menus and UI, yes, there. this is the new menu for the career. And obviously, you got the startup menu here. Improved gameplay, improved AI, and fourth substitute an extra time. So Because before, you couldn't, and that's not actual rules. And then improved graphics, obviously. So, there was thing I wanted to show you that wasn't on there, is that there is a new, like, uh, secret player, or just, like, if you, have, if you buy a huge transfer, like, if you buy a big transfer... They'll actually, you know, they'll actually show you like a cool animation. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy someone here. All right, it's secret week. Uh, I want to open a secret player because um, I saw in a video that they have a weird and they have a different animation. I'm not sure. Oh, they do. Okay, here we go. Here's the animation. It is Victor Ruiz. Okay, I don't really care about the player, but I just they they have new animations for a play a secret player. I was trying my hardest to find a player that would actually do it normally, but okay. A secret player does, in fact, <laughs> do an animation. I wanted to show you guys one at least one animation, okay? Yeah, so the really big thing that they only added here was the, the events mode. So um, pretty much I'm just going around, you know, um, I'm just going around, you know, looking over some things. Um, just seeing if I can spot anything different. Alright guys, so I'm going to go into some gameplay here. Well, not just some gameplay, just show you around the game here. Um, I mean, obviously the buttons look the same and all that. Um, you got the little, uh, little, a little bit of improved graphics here. Obviously you got the thing above Sterling's head right now. And one thing I wanted to try out was this. Hold on, I need a throw-in. Um, I remember in my, one of my other videos, like when I was complaining about throw-ins, that if, um, if First Touch Games put it back to the old uh, view, then uh, I will do a release a compliment track. Yeah, a compliment track on them. But we'll see if they actually added it. Here we go. This is it. This is it. All right. <laughs> As I expected. All right, so the pause menu looks the same. It's just a new UI, obviously. 
and then instant replay looks a lot different so you don't get the annoying bar above anymore you have you have um, a set you have like nice settings you know little buttons on the side obviously the player and the ball and the and the goal camera the save replay obviously is still there um, instead of having a scroll bar right uh, this is this is gone I don't know all right so I guess we're moving on to events um, it is free entry uh, yeah welcome to the main events hub uh, complete, uh, compete for glory and take home the biggest prizes in unique competition. Check back regularly for upcoming events. Okay. Um, I don't know. Okay, you have nine games, guys. You have nine games you play against uh, these players. This is the regional league. So, obviously, you get to play with your own team. Yeah. All right. Um, let's play it. Since, since, since the update doesn't really show have to anything else to show other than this game, so might as well play. I want to try out these no new AI and maybe there's a new animations or something. I don't know. And I want to see how difficult these things are, you know? Because they said there's going to be a way increased difficulty, so you never know. And is the defend are the defenders going to be, you know, better? I don't know. Let's see if crossing's still a thing. Oh, it is. It definitely is. <laughs> All right. The ball seems to be traveling slower. I don't know. There's some... Maybe it's just, you know, I believe that it's, like, there's something different, but, I don't know. The gameplay feels weird. Alright, well, for... Oh, what? You're Ronaldo, and you... And what? Um, I'm trying to notice new gameplay changes. Um, I've noticed that A shoots a lot harder than I'm used to. Um, so maybe B shots are better. See, look at that. It, it, the ball travels higher. Uh, uh, okay. And what? Uh, come on, man. Like, I've been already complaining that they shoot with their left foot too much, and this is even worse, man. So, for now, it's not it's not that hard. Um, I was hoping for, like, a super hard challenge, you know what I mean? Maybe as you get closer you get to a game 9, maybe it gets close. I don't, maybe it gets harder. I don't know. So when I'm thinking about Road to Glory, um, I don't know exactly. Oh, I forgot about the A! Uh, for Road to Glory, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do since there's just nine games. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do one video with all nine or if I should do it in general. Um, I'll do a poll. Wow, that goalkeeper. Wow, dude. Yeah, so um, maybe I'll do like two videos like one with four, one with five, or uh, games or something. I don't know. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do with the currency. Am I going to... Um, am I going to use what I get from the events? I think I should. Uh, because that's 300 coins. That's pretty good. If I get 300 coins a week, like, I mean, I think it'll go pretty fast. Maybe I'll double it or something. You know what I mean? I'll, um, I'll, it'll be like a road to glory where I can double what I win. Just to make it a little bit faster. And then, you know, make a better team and then get through events every week. Obviously, there isn't an end goal, so maybe the end goal... Oh, wow, dude. Maybe the end goal is to, I don't know, um, see our event record at the end. I, but I don't know. Obviously, with an online, there's an end goal of getting Division 1, right? But I'm never going to get there, so I mean... <laughs> I don't know what the end goal is. Maybe they'll add something new in the events uh, in later updates. But I got to score a goal here because this is getting interesting. So yeah, pretty much uh, Dreaming Soccer 19 wasn't really that big of an update. They hyped it up way too much on Twitter. Um, yeah, I was really hyped for the events because it would be kind of cool for my uh, Road to Glory series. And it would be, you know, well, maybe I got a challenge, right? But it's it's really not that hard. Maybe I'll start doing challenges in events. Like, I don't know. Uh, if I want something harder. Like, so I just don't have to do it online. That would be cool for challenges on this uh, on this. Um, on this tablet but yeah man right now this doesn't seem that hard okay maybe that was just the first one they have arsenal yeah i guess that'll probably be harder i don't know we'll have to see i'll play through these events um maybe in another video or in like a challenge there's arsenal next so maybe i'll do like a hard challenge with them next and then obviously i've got the road to glory series um i'll probably do it on i'll lead tour in events but i'll still just uh let you guys decide if we should do events and then like double the coins and then use the coins that I have to get the players and then have like a really good team, that'd be the end goal. Or should I just continue to do an online boring series? Um, yeah, I'm very biased here. 
an online boring series like I already did, probably get frustrated around Division 6. And, uh, yeah. And also not have very good rewards and have to do some weird ruling thing. I think I'm, I'm gonna do events, okay? But I'll still let you guys decide whether you want a online series or an event series. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna go. Maybe about two Road to Glory series a, a week. One Glo Road to Glory series a week. I don't know if I'm gonna play all of them. Like, I don't know. Alright. I'll have to play all of them on, but I'm, they might not be all on camera. But anyway, that was a new update. Pretty much they added new events. That was pretty much the big thing. They added new signing things, but that's just, you know, and the new, new UI, but that's just, you know, that's just the looks and all that stuff. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the update. Hopefully all you iOS users get it soon, and uh, you guys can try out the events. But uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.